channel and if you're new here welcome as well today i have for you a mixed haul from a few different places mainly peacocks so i'll go through that one last so i had to buy a couple of bits so i'm not needing a couple of items of clothing that needed replacing so I saw something that I really liked and thought, yeah, that will be really, really handy to have, which was I got from the EMP. So I'll show you the bits and pieces I got from the EMP first. Now the thing you get with every order is, of course, the Rocking Fingers symbol sticker. So as soon as I've already got one of those, I'll give that to someone else. Not sure who will be yet, but I'll give it something else. Now the main thing I needed to replace was a denim skirt. I have increased my weight ever so slightly over lockdown. Intentionally, I might add. So, the thing I needed to replace first was a denim skirt couldn't even get mine over my thighs anymore but then again it was well, technically a size too small so I got this one which is by Haley's it's just a basic blue denim skirt with a zip a functioning zip which does go all the way down and if you want to get it off quickly, I guess. But it's a good sturdy zip. It's got working pockets front and back. It's the basic blue denim skirt with a twist. And yes, it will be short, and no, I don't mind that. So that was from Haley's in a size medium. So yeah, that was item number one. And it's got this nice little, quite sturdy o-ring on there as well so something basic but with a twist and the next thing I ordered which is something I really need and have been looking for for a while is a bikini and I'm very much hoping this fits because it was it's a really nice two piece and by the looks of it I think it will now this is a Disney branded one but when I saw it on the website I just couldn't resist because it is very very pretty so this again I got in a size M bottoms and tops so these are some nice briefs when well, they want to be a bit more covered up with this lovely satiny purple around the outside should give you a kind of clue as to what these are. So they're not too high rise, the nice covering, so that'll be handy when I'm uh, not wanting to flash so much flesh. And the second item is the top. Now this looks like it will definitely fit. It is a bikini top, just the triangle. It does have pads in, but they are removable pads. So you will be able to pull them out. One side is just plain black with this again shiny purple um, fabric around the outside. And this is where you'll probably guess who it is. It is Ursula themed. So you've got the purple trident and her tentacles and wave pattern. On it. So I thought that for a little two-piece set wasn't bad at all. Now they were both on sale so they may not still be available but for something that I was looking for and needed can't go wrong with that. It's a gorgeous bikini and it's alternative and it's dark coloured and it's got a bit more coverage than some of my other ones so I'm really happy with those. Now the next couple of bits were from Marks and Spencer's. 
had a gift voucher from there as well. And unfortunately, one of the things got damaged on the, well, two things on the order got damaged, so I never got them. So I was meant to get a pair of tailored trousers as well, but they don't have them in my size anymore, which is a shame, but I did get a refund eventually. I did get a refund and eventually found out what happened. But the other two things that I did order, which I'm always in need of, especially being at home a lot, is comfortable underwear. This I shall not model, but I will show you. So it's just a lovely non-underwired bralette. That's pink, hot pink, really pretty, really comfy, just a basic bralette. No, I didn't pay that, this was also in the sale. Everything I'm showing you pretty much was in the sale. So yes, that's one of the items I got there. Because everyone's in need of underwear. And the next thing I got was a, an eyeshadow palette. Now I wanted to try um, this brand for a while and when I saw that they had it in, it's the Obsessed Smoke and Mirrors Eyeshadow Palette. It's velvety smooth, pigment infused shades with easily blendable and buildable textures. So there's nine shades. It's Eminence's own brand. It is cruelty free and it is vegan. So that's what the outside packaging looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. So it's all different shades of grey. There are one, two, three, well, looks like five shimmers and six shimmers and four mattes, possibly a satin in there as well. So I thought that was a fair, for six pounds, I thought that was quite a decent little nine pound palette. So yeah, that was the Smoke and Mirrors palette from Obsessed. If you want to see me do a swatch and look with this palette then please let me know and down below in the comments and I will do. So that was the first two shops. Now we're on to the big Peacock's haul. Now one of the items was a present for somebody. I will flash the image up just over here so you can have a look at what, what it was. It was a top all in black with silver details on. Now, with this Peacock's haul, I had a gift card that needed using up by mid-February. So it took me a while to piece together what I wanted and I'm quite happy with the things I've got. So let's dig in and I can show you all the different bits and pieces that I bought at Peacock's. So I have opened and rifled through this already, but this was the package that came in, so pretty substantial work, pretty substantial haul here. Now the next couple of bits I got were not for me, these were for my partner. So thermals, because it's winter, everyone needs thermals. And, just get these out quickly. Another essential everyday item, socks. Not his favourite colours, but they were a decent price. Five pairs of socks, so I thought, why not? So those obviously aren't for me, but necessaries. Now we get on to the bits I bought for me. Now each one comes packaged with a hanger, which I do appreciate. So let's just dig straight in and see what this one is. This is a ladies top rib drop shoulder in a medium. Most of the things I ordered were 10 or a medium. Like I said, they all come individually packaged with a hanger. 
Now I did get, I'll admit, I've got this one I did get oversized so that it was going to be a little bit on the oversized side. So let's see exactly how oversized this will be. If it's too big, I might have to give this one as well. So it's just a plain, long sleeved, very soft, very, very soft, long sleeved jumper. Right, it's a bit longer in the back than in the front. And I figured this was one I could wear with the shoulder on one side or like that. It's nice and stretchy and like I said, very, very soft. Might be a tad on the see-through side, but we shall see when I try it on. So I'm really happy with how soft that is and how flowy it'll be because that'll be really nice. Now the next item is a skirt. This is the ladies PU Pull-On Skirt. And this I got in size 10. Which is my normal size. So again, comes with a hanger. This is just an elasticated waist. Plain. Fitted. Pencil skirt. It's going to be quite long, I'd say that will be well below the knee. In just plain black PU, so it's very stretchy, as you can see. So that will just pull on easily. So very happy with that one. Next out of the bag is a dress. This is the ladies' women button through dress. And again, this is in size 10. This is a lot longer than I expected. And again, comes with a hanger. As you can see, this is a simple linen dress. It is lined. The lining doesn't go all the way through. It goes on the bodice part. So that's what the top part looks like with these tortoiseshell buttons on. And buttons are all fully functional. And it comes with this nice tie around the way. Ah, it's a matching belt with a buckle, so that is removable and adjustable so it has this extra length so that will that's really size inclusive and then at the bottom it's just the linen skirt as you can see this will probably be again well past knee length really soft linen and just a very nice basic black dress something you can dress up, dress down, swap the belt with. Really happy with that and it's quite sturdy feeling linen as well. Let's see, question of the day, is it machine washable? And it comes with an extra button. Yep, it's machine washable as well. Let's see, is this one machine washable? PU skirt is also machine washable. As is the rib top. Now next is something I really desperately do need. A pair of wide leg tailored trousers, again in a size 10. And again come through the hanger. I always go for wide legged tailor trousers and I find them a lot more flattering. 
a lot more flattering and when I saw these I thought they'd be quite a good match so you get this adjustable belt that comes with it it's a slight paper bag waist but it does have two poppers and a functioning button and a zip fly now I'm just hoping that these will be long enough they do look like it lovely and flowy lightweight material Yes, they are machine washable. They're by the brand, Peacock Brand Envy. And they look like a really decent pair of trousers. I'm just very much hoping that they'll be long enough on me. They do have long legs and sometimes they aren't long enough, but it feels like a nice material, nice and lightweight and flowy. And with functioning pockets. Not too sure about these trousers, if I'm honest, they're the right length, but I'm not sure about these. Let me know what you think, because I'm really not sure. Yeah. Let me know. I have a feeling I might be returning these ones, which is a shame. Now the next bit I got is a top. Now this is just a sheer mesh over top it's got two small buttons on the back with a little bit of a cut out at the neck and it does come with a spare button as well I did not pay £18 for this, it was on sale and it's just a mesh with some very cute flared bell sleeves with little ruffles on them and at the bottom it's got a fully hemmed Just a simple over, something to throw over a t-shirt or a vest during summer so I'm really happy with that. Not the material I expected but it's a nice material, it's not going to make me cringe. And it's machine washable. Now the next bit is a baby's battery jumper, so there's a Lurex battery jumper and this I got in the M, again so it's a bit on the oversized side and what I liked about this one is the fact that it's got these gold flecks in it, now, it's quite a sheer jumper, as you can see it's got these batwing sleeves with a stretchy but nice little cuff on there. It's very lightweight, very soft despite the sparkles, very very soft and it is nice and oversized so that'll be a nice comfortable jumper and at the bottom you've got the same stretchy cuff as the sleeves so that'll tighten you in. It's not as stretchy as some I've seen. A little bit of stretch but not too much. So yes, I love myself. I love my oversized snug big soft jumpers. And the last two bits, surprise surprise, are again eyeshadow palettes. Yes I know I've had a run on them between Christmas and here 
but there were colours that I was missing in my collection and ones that I was really excited I've been looking and I do like this brand for them. So the first one is the Technic Venus Rising Pressed Pigment Palette. Different tones of orange, browns, there's one, two, three, four, six shimmers and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes. So you've got oranges, you've got pinks, you've got a slightly mustard tone, browns and black. So that's the first one. And the second one came slightly better packaged, but still not much, because there was so much soft stuff in there. It didn't get harmed in the process of shipping, which I'm very glad about. Now this one's a more purple coloured palette, but I haven't looked, I do have other purple and pink palettes, but this one just was super pretty. And it also has some good neutrals as well. So this is the Persian Violet. The Persian Violet palette, also by Technic. This has got some nice neutrals, some browns, some purples, a couple of lovely, a lovely blue and a lilac shimmer. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers and two, four, six, eight mattes. And again, it's a pressed pigment palette. And again, if you want me to swatch and do some looks with these, all the three palettes, not at the same time, but different videos for different palettes, then just let me know down below and I will do it if anyone's interested. I know they're older palettes, but as far as I know, they are still available. I will leave the links to as many different things as I can down below. What was your favourite item in the, in the haul? Let me know. I think mine is hopefully, it's definitely the bikini, but I hope really hope those tailored trousers fit as well. So I really hope if you've enjoyed watching it give it a like if you have let me know down below if you've ever shopped from peacocks what you think uh like i said let me know what your favorite item in the haul was and subscribe if you want to see more from my channel thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye